All right, here's take two because my phone messed up. Uh, but anyway, here we have a 1990 Chevy S10. Um, yeah, it's actually in pretty nice shape for its age. It's got mismatched tires, but it has all the original wheels from what I can tell. It has the old rally wheels, which I've always really liked. Don't mind the clapped out Durango. The frame on this one is pretty good though. It's got rusty cab corners, which is, you know, whatever. But it's overall in pretty nice shape. The muffler's kind of sticking up. I like these wheels. I really like these wheels. That side looks pretty decent. Got rusty cab corners, like I said. Well, this side has the badge on it. S10 Tahoe. You know, this is before the Tahoe was its own thing. But yeah. Let's take a look at it. It does have the 2.5 Iron Duke, or as some people like to call it, the Iron Puke. I already started it up once. But. Got red interior, automatic transmission, Delco radio. And would you believe it? It only has 40,000 original miles. That's crazy. Did not expect that. Mm, it does. Turn that off. All right, first start. It clanks, it rattles, it's an Iron Duke. It's kind of their thing. It has the mirror, which is in the box. Is the S10 badge there still. It's got this neat shelf in the bottom. These old school GM seat belts. Pretty cool. Yeah, it runs pretty nice. It's got the lights right here. It's got manual windows, manual locks. Mirrors missing. I am surprised this only has 40,000 miles. That is insane. I did not expect that. Does the radio work? Yeah, it does. Sounds like only one speaker works, though. That one must be dead. Probably what that extra one's for. I don't know what was here. Like a cigarette lighter or something. Yeah, this is pretty neat. I like the steering wheel. I don't like the way it looks, but I like the way it feels. Well, we all know we gotta do it. We gotta give the iron puke hell. Raise hell, praise the hell. <laughs> Runs like a tap. Uh, I already popped the hood. I don't know what this vent thing does. That's locked. I guess. There we go. Got the brake release. This vent thing, which I'm not sure what it does. I think it's probably one of those old school vents that opens up somewhere in the fender well. Brings in fresh air. Because I don't think this has AC in it. It has heater, vent but no AC. Which I always like these controls. I don't know why, I always thought they were cool. They had these in the Astro van too. With the original GM keys. I like this little truck. Honestly, wish I could buy it. I really like these old S10s. 
and you never see the old square body ones anymore. Which is why I had to do a video on it. Oh, I guess the ride goes there. We might as well do it proper. Anyway, it's got the Iron Duke 4 banger 2.5. It clicks, it cranks, it clanks, it just works. Not fast, but reliable. That's the iron iron goose for you. A lot of space in here. Just an honest to good old pickup truck. Can't beat these. Even if the tires don't match. The bed's in pretty good shape. I'm surprised of how nice this is, honestly. I mean, yeah, it's faded paint. It's got some bull crap going on there, here and there, but overall it's in good shape. It has the uh, little slidey window, dome light, and all that's kind of falling down, but I mean, I don't know where they found this thing, but it's pretty neat. to it really just an honest old truck it shakes and rattles though but that's an iron duke i kind of want it to be honest but i don't have the money for another vehicle but if i did this would sure be something worth getting i always like these gauges very kind of 80s even if it's 1990, but I think 91 they changed up the interiors and the grills and everything. They did a big update on these. That door isn't very well aligned. So yeah, there you go. A 1990 Chevrolet S10. Talk about a time capsule.